all righty how are we doing it is uh saturday yeah <laughs> like lost track of time we had like a like 11 hour stream yesterday so uh welcome henry good to have you stephanie good to have you anybody else lurking good to have you and anybody in the vod watching in the future good to have you uh yesterday we did our unboxing and we played homeworld 3 uh to its fullest extent uh well in the campaign mode in apparently normal difficulty because when i just hit play campaign it didn't give me that it just went right into it uh so i'll have to torture myself with hard later um today we're going to be looking at the other game modes there is a possibility i may go into the campaign uh, in hard mode but uh yeah we'll see um yesterday with the um uh unboxing i uh covered all the ships and stuff i didn't ha plug in the mothership so i got that plugged in now and i wanted to show that on stream so so that way you guys can see and also learn some things about it so for the sake of my room and my setup, I decided to do the vertical setup because um, it has a, uh, the thing in the back for horizontal or vertical, which is really nice. Um, they got their little USB, you can see the, let's see here, the USB-C cord right here actually plugging in the back. It's all wired into the, the pole itself. Uh, the bottom is weighty, so this might like look a little wobbly because this is like, this is a hard plastic. It's not like a metal um what's cool is is uh it's got a built-on button right here it looks like it's one of the panels on the mothership <laughs> so you have, there's actually a picture instructions because i would have never found it if i didn't have like a paper that came with it so when you click it it actually plays the uh, the what do you call it the uh the hyperspace sound the warp in sound and i don't know if you guys are going to hear it but um i'm going to play it here and uh here, we're gonna turn on the music off too. That way you get the full the full uh effect. Let's see here. Pink. And then all the lights come on. So the other thing I found out is is the uh the the building bay door comes off. And I thought that was really cool. So it's magnet. It's like a ma it's magnetized. So it, I thought that was that's um, it's actually really I, I like how that is. So it lights up. It looks good. Um, I mean, it's got like the little. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I can get a better view of this. So you can see all the the lights on the top, the bottom, and if I can pull this off the uh the inside there really well built i like it don't break it yeah um so i'm gonna have this in the background while we're playing today I wonder if I should leave the door off. Because I think it's more like eye catchy with the lights. I don't know. It'd be cool if it can like hover in place. <laughs> like the real thing. Alright. Anyways, that's that. Uh I didn't get to show that on stream because I was like I didn't want to like fumble and put it together forever. But yeah. The uh the great mothership that I've been waiting on, and then the little ships that are also... You barely see them right there. But, um... I really wanted to put that up on, like, the, um... God, my orientation. Uh, the top shelf here. But at horizontal, I was hoping maybe horizontal looked good, but it just... It's such a flat plane, and with the lights on, you can't see nothing. So it's just like, okay, I gotta go vertical with it. If you wanna, like... If I wanna, like, have it look good... So with that though, I can't put it on any of the lower shelves, but um, 
I'll see about putting it on the top shelf maybe, but I think it looks good right here with the, the black uh, behind it. So we'll see how I uh, where I want to put it at. All right, so let's go ahead and move into the game. What's the ship called so I can label it? Uh, it's the Car Kushan. Um, is there a... Uh... Yeah, it's got the Car Kushan name on it. Um, oh, you can't really see it in the, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> just like have it in a frame, your screen doing that. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, cool. Um, how did I fix that? Was it the, uh, I think it was the, uh, Elgato. Hang on. Don't know why it does that. Um, so yeah, uh, we shall so car eh, i believe that's it hang on let me read it yeah car dash kushan yep kardashian oh. <laughs> I kept hearing, you know, I was trying to find that joke yesterday, but for some reason I couldn't remember the, that name. I was just like, car, car, that sounds, that sounds familiar, Kardashian. <laughs> um, all right, let's get into it. With the flower, the flower carnations, yeah. Oh yeah, isn't that like when I couldn't remember the name Carnation and I was like, was it a Kardashian? <laughs> I don't remember what it was. How's it going, Kaze? Alrighty. So actually, for anybody, this is cool. I'm gonna play this on stream. For anybody who doesn't know the story of Homeworld, they have part of, I think this is part of the uh, collector's thing that I have. Um, they have the roadmap, which I will be getting everything from here, but they have the, uh, story, um, extra, we'll be playing that right now, so you guys can see it, and I'll probably turn my camera off for that, uh, yeah, that, the barren desert planet, Carrick. Home to a resilient but divided people known as the Kushan. They fought over resources under a burning sun for thousands of years. Everything changed when Rachel Sajet discovered something buried deep beneath the unforgiving sands. An ancient technology that would allow the Kushan to escape their dying world. A hyperspace core. And with it, a map that pointed the way to the true home of the Kushan, Igara. The Kushan put aside their differences and for 100 years worked together to construct a grand mothership that could transport 600,000 Kushan to Igara. Karen Sajet, Rachel's descendant, volunteered to be bound, body and mind, to the mothership and become its navigator and fleet command. 
but the efforts of the Kushan did not go unnoticed. The Daidan Empire, a powerful enemy who had exiled the Kushan to Karak 4,000 years ago, took swift and devastating action. While Karak burned, Karen rescued all that remained of her people. But instead of fleeing into the dark, Karen turned the mothership into the tip of a spear, a spear aimed directly at Higara. In the war that ensued thereafter, Karen's fleet emerged victorious. The Taidan Empire was shattered, and the Kushan reclaimed their homeworld, becoming Higarans once more. Just as Rachel discovered a hyperspace core, Karen learned of the existence of two others. The first of these was gifted to Karen by the Bentusi, an ancient race who called no planet home and lived only among the stars. The final core was won by Karen upon defeating the Vagir, a vicious foe who sought to control the cores at any cost. Karen united all three cores aboard the legendary progenitor mothership Sajuk. And in doing so, unlocked a vast hyperspace gate network, enabling interstellar travel for all. Trade and culture spread effortlessly between the stars. Population centers grew in places previously inaccessible, and the galaxy was united in peace. Thus began the Age of Sujet. But deep in the Outer Rim lurked a region of space from which no ship ever returned. It became known as the Anomaly. Gates in this area were erratic and dangerous. Thousands of lives were lost. Eventually, these gates went completely dark, and the Anomaly spread. Karen Sajet, aboard a new mothership called the Car Sajuk, was sent to find the source of the anomaly. Stop it. She never returned. Twenty years later, the burden falls to Karen's protege, Imogen Sajet. Yeah, that was that. That's cool that they did that because I'm I know that there's because the game is so old now with the uh, Homeworld 1 being like it's been 25 years since Homeworld 1 came out. Um there's a lot of people probably nowadays or younger people that have no clue about it. So they don't really understand the storyline or they didn't go delve through the history PDFs and whatnot. So that really does cover like the primary details of um the entire story which was really cool um i don't i was really happy to see that they did that for the game um so yeah the um yeah that that, that was a uh, that was good storytelling yeah it was that was really good i like it it's it's catching too and of course it's like the old 90s films like in a word <laughs> like um i can't mimic that but um so today i think we're gonna look at um we're gonna do war games i think we're gonna try a skirmish against ai and in if i'm feeling up to it i may do the campaign again under hard mode hard difficulty because i already because apparently i didn't see this when um i clicked it yesterday i just went like oh and then click So we shall do that. Um, I like the customization too. Um, uh, also the logo from Twitch Drops. A lot of optimization of logos. And I like they have the history too. They got um, the Saban. Um, the... Uh, I forgot the stuff on uh, Karak uh, factions. Like all the, the different factions and whatnot. Um... 
Also, I think these are Soban as well. No, no, those are Vega. And then the two new ones right there. Yeah, they got a bunch. Uh, the color is cool. Uh, if you wanted to do like, see stripe color and it reflects on the uh, the previews. Same thing with the whole. Um, so I like how they give you a live preview of that stuff. The ship, I think, I don't know about the engine trails. I think one of these is come is bonus. If not, all of them are bonus. I think uh, at least one of these is bonus from the kit that I got. I don't know. Um, but yeah. And then we can select what kind of... So War Games is interesting. There, when the demo came out a few months ago, this was the only thing that we could play with and test. Um, so it's kind of like a test your... Uh, your metal against uh, the computer or whatnot, never growing like a threat. And then as you get points or level up through their, whatever their system is, you can actually play with different fleets, like an incarnate fleet, um, and then like get better ships or whatnot. It's kind of cool. It's like a tier system. Uh, through the collector's kit that I have, um, we get the remastered fleet as an option, which brings back the old vanilla because uh, you play as a carrier. You don't have a mothership. You're a carrier trying to survive on the frontier. So what I like about this one is, is it brings back the old Kushan carrier, um, which I thought was cool. It's like, reminds me of a turtle, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll go from there. And then we might try some of these other things. So we will do that. And war game settings, because um, I haven't... Played it in a minute. Standard difficulty. It looks like there's a bunch of difficulties you can work under. We're just going to do standard for now. And apparently, I guess you can play this with friends even, which is kind of interesting. So I guess you can, like, you can survive together. I don't think you're fighting each other. I think it's survive together. At level five. I think I earned that from uh, when I played previously. Hey, there you go. All right. Let me get my mind right because it's been a minute. As in a minute as in it was this morning. Um, here we go. War games. Yeah, this is the Kushan carrier, which is cool. Basic, but cool. Um, Sizable incarnate forces incoming. They are pushing further into friendly space. Higar in command suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Engage right, hostile let's forces get things and plot going. to their base of operations. Resource controllers build. and destroy this base. Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. He's like, you're already starting combat, like right off the beginning. Resource control complete and ready for operation. Send transmission. Collector 33, you are drifting. Command. Carrier. Upgrade complete. Good to have you. Updating now packet with collector. Attack. Incoming hyperspace signatures detected. Ready for attack. Incursion point. Resistance is expected. Objective. Secure resources. Okay, that's what we're doing. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Yeah, ready to copy. 
Interceptor production complete. Send message. So I'm going to work on getting assault frigates and whatnot early so we can fight off fighters really quickly. Research complete. Combat alert. Upgrade complete. Call on. Target down. Everything's in the red. Shut it off. Corvette down. A civilian convoy has been attacked and scattered throughout the area. Locate and rescue all civilian vessels. All right, I'll do that when I get a moment. Let me get support frigates first, salt frigates. Set heat exchange switches to manual. Just remember to receive the contact. All right, let's start moving. Frigate ready for action. Awaiting orders. Establishing security orbit. Lead out copy. Combat alert. Go for Interceptor it. production complete. Tracking solid here. Support frigate is now ready. Targeting. Shut down. Assault frigate ready for action. Hostile Corvette destroyed. Support frigate. Let's keep this healed. Yeah, received. Confirmed. You are clear to approach. Collector three two. Go for carrier control. Assault frigate ready for action. Hopefully, resource collectors are good for the moment. Support frigate is now ready. Uh, Helm, reposition. Uh, bring us around. Understood. Relax. Assault frigate ready for action. Ready to copy. We copy. Enemy ship Combat down. alert. Frigate ready for action. Support frigate is now ready. All right. Definitely take a minute. Get my bearings here. Go ahead, Resource collectors are already moving. Pops. With their escort. Resource operations underway. Area comms open. Let's move up. Move us out. Hell, take it down. Railgun Corvette. Receiving. Systems go. Send. Command. Carrier holding station. Combat alert. Interceptor production complete. Lead. Research complete. Data link established. Get ready to copy. Most exciting post in the fleet. Interceptor reads. Ready. Send message. Who's fighting? What am I hearing? Railgun Corvette ready. 
Launching. Is that, or is that just debris? It's a busted ship. Okay. All right. So they move forward. Heading confirmed. Adjust. Well, we can only uh, do eight frigates. Okay. Combat alert. Confirmed. Upgrade complete. Helm, contact. Enemy strike craft. Give me zone coverage. Full hit. Enemy corvette destroyed. Target hit. Watch the blast radio. Corvette is on the floor. Command. Carrier. Move car down. Watch the debris. So I'm going to turn that down. So that way you can hear me. Okay, that's captured. Rescue civilians, one of three. Hey, Baron. Can we capture? We can. Hang on. Pause. I think we can. Uh. We can't pause. Uh, resource collector. Can we actually? Invalid salvage target. Okay. the final capture. There it is. Position set. Helm Three support frigates actually doing a good job here. Controller on location. Railgun Corvette production complete. Receiving. Corvette is off the floor. Corvette destroyed. ROE update. Engage all threats. Um, can we use... Crap, where's our salvagers at? Am I blind? Oh, right in front of me. Oh, we can. We can take the railgun. Uh, too late. Objective complete. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Just got home. All right. Actually, let's hang out for a minute because um, there's a very good possibility I can capture more ships. Because I got to deal with this right in the middle of my screen. Okay, everything's aggressive.
that what I think it is down there? There is a bigger ship coming, and I'm gonna capture it. Railgun Corvette production complete. There we go. Go capture it. Nope, you're not getting away. Yoink. Interceptor production complete. Now, where are they taking it at? That's the question. Research complete. Okay, they are taking it to the carrier, I think. How can we salvage these? Or did we bust them open? No. Can we actually shoot these? No. Uh, hello? What's going on here? Did not mean for that. Okay, we're probably gonna lose that now. Yeah, that's dead. Damn. I don't know what happened, why he stopped. Or can we not capture uh, ships in wargame mode? Ah, no, there's another one. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can. Okay, rest of you. This is the issue we have with, uh, um, aggressive mode. We had this in the campaign, it almost wrecked us. Okay, we capturing it now. This is how we're going to get uh, over a cap limit of ships. Does it not capture and it just gives us the resources? Okay, no, there, there it is. I was about to say, where is it? Everybody, neutral, guard. So now we have attack frigate and multi-beam frigate. Can we get more? Oh, there's one right there. Um, Interceptor production complete. Get it. Okay, so wait for him to come back. Set 
Also, for those who are, might have been uh, watching or who was watching yesterday where I couldn't figure out the right click thing, you can't right click in pause mode, but you can right click while it's active. I don't know why that's a thing, but that bugged the crap out of me. All right, here we go. Multi-beam frigate. Get it. This one too. Two multi-beam frigates. Give them to me. We also got to be mindful that um, we only have so many resources, so... Need to make sure we can... Uh, uh, not drop below zero and where we can't repair or build. I think after we grab this third one here, we're gonna we're gonna uh, hyperspace out. Keep throwing frigates at me. All right, here we go. Combat alert. Frigates. Reminds me of them. Uh, the kin niggets. Oh, I see what you're saying with that stuff. God, the ice shelves levels are so good. Okay, these things, we're going to say, hey, all of that. So we captured one, two, three, four, five threat uh, frigates. Hyperspace signatures detected. Enemies inbound. Prepare for attack. Keep capturing frigates. Okay, interceptors. Interceptor production complete. Ooh, upgrade. Corvette production complete. Receiving. Combat alert. Secure resources, okay. No, you're good, Steph. 
We need to capture the control nodes to restore power to this progenitor structure. Send one of your capture-capable ships to collect it and escort it to safety. Upgrade complete. Um, Corvette I'm just going to tell the Corvette to go over there. Corvette will go over there, right? Yeah. Ready to copy. Combat alert. Oh, there's multiple of them. like to come in from behind us don't they is there someone in the front too there is got any frigates See, it's nice about the support frigates. I like how you don't have to tell them to support interceptors and whatnot. They'll repair anything within their range. So that's really nice compared to the other homeworlds. Capture that with uh, Ready to copy. we can't. So, do we have to capture or use one of our captured ships? Capture control module to restore power. Uh, let's send a, I guess, a multi beam frigate over there. No, I don't like that. It seems like it's not. Escort required. Port two will assist. Or do I need to uh, use a controller? It's a controller I need to do. We will get to that. We'll let the uh, all them uh, keep wailing on us. And then every time they send a frigate, we use a controller to capture it, and we grow our fleet. Combat alert. Here we go. Enemy frigate has closed range. Really, where's that frigate at? There. Okay. Go capture those two.
Oh, there's another one there. Uh, capture that one too. We might miss that one. That one will probably get destroyed. Yeah. I think I made three uh, support frigates. Four probably would have been good, especially if I knew I was going to be capturing. Ziggy, how's it going, buddy? Thank you for that raid. Anybody who might be looking around, definitely check out Ziggy. He's a... Uh, He's also a content creator. He is an artist. He streams his art, uh, the creation of his artwork. Really good content creator. All right, capture these. We're going to keep growing our fleet. How was your stream, Ziggy? No problem. We were just um, checking out uh, War Games mode for Homeworld 3. Uh, we beat the game yesterday. Uh, we also showcased um, the physical mothership that's right here I'm pointing to. Uh, we lit that up at the beginning of stream just to kind of show like how it looks. And uh, now we're playing the uh, War Games mode and enjoying more content. This is, this is a really beautiful game. Um, I'm definitely liking where they're going with it. Oh, we're going to capture more stuff. Keep doing interceptors. Oh yeah, I want that missile frigate. Capture it. Now we got it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what happened to these guys. Oh, we're gonna lose one of those. We just lost a resource controller. Crap. bringing back that missile frigate all right we need to start looking at our uh, objective now attack alert enemy corvette send message we'll start moving the carrier you above the planet no it, it's a big ice sheet out in space these are like with some of the more beautiful levels um the ice sheet level in the campaign was very beautiful All right, all of you this way. Interceptor production complete. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Combat alert. All right, carrier stop. We need to capture this thing. But yeah, the planet's really good. The sounding, like all you're hearing is combat right now, but there's like like natural like cracking sounds. That's actually really good with the the ice. Frigate is being attacked. Enemy 
I'll have to show you. I might load up the level that uh, that really showcased it once we're done with the War Games mode. Terran Dock. Is that uh, something we can do something with? No. That's wild. Yeah, no, it, it is a pretty wild game. Oh, more things to capture. Love, I love the whole capture mechanic compared to the first two. Uh, so in this game, they've made the they've combined three ships into one from the previous games. Um, the resource co controller is a resource collector controller and a salvage ship, which was kind of cool. Do we got a ship to cap? Are they not? Missile frigates are definitely worth capturing. Attack frigate. Look for a little bit. All right. We're 12 frigates above our limit. That's harvestables right there. Support frigates, we cannot lose those by the way. We can get that uh, missile frigate. They ships move vertical really fast. Don't know if this one will. They're really trying to get away from me. Be able to hang on, we gotta go down. Or to engage by frigate. Alright, we really gotta do like the mission stuff because now it's getting to the point where it's like crazy. 
I mean, we can hold our own for sure. As long as we don't lose our support frigates, we're good. Crap, I couldn't get to them in time. Some of these ships are moving super fast. Actually, I think they're having trouble keeping up. They're losing all their little collectors. Carrier, let's move. Yeah, they got no ships. Where's my other... Oh, we lost a resource controller, that's why. Oh, we need uh, way more interceptors. Follow you. Guard that. when they get more ships okay you can we capture that or do we need ships for that resource controller complete and ready for operation I don't think we can is this something where we're just gonna have to retire it I thought I saw them, uh, uh, regenerating. Or is there a, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing them regenerate. this fine we'll uh, do this oh hey I got a uh, achievement for that Time. This one will missile. Hit the missile ship. Or no, wait, he doesn't have ships. That's right. Damn it. Where's our. Ooh, ooh, support for it. Yeah, get down here. Put it in the the thing. Okay. Okay. All of you guard this carrier. Move that way. Oh 
my god, support frigates. Get out of there. A uh, carrier, stop. Grab that. If they can. This way, move forward, move forward. Send message. Cycle for defensive operation. Wait, did they capture that ship? Ready to cut. Or two reporting on station. Yeah, they did. All right, cool. Where's the third controller at? One, two. I only see two. Oh, wait. The third one's. Why is it over there? Never mind. Well, we lost it. That's why. I think we hit it on uh, harvesting. Oh, sorry, we told it to capture something and it couldn't do it. Damn it, I can't. All right. This is, you're getting scuttled. Next objective. Carrier comms open. Get us out of here. Frigate, egress combat area. Ready to copy. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Say again, Corvette. Going fire. Enemy strike craft engaging. We are we're still at 23 frigates. Continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Controller here, go ahead. All right, let's. 
What is a destroyer? Oh, we can't capture a destroyer. All right, we're up spacing out. This one capture suppression fleet bay. Incarnate force is massing at this progenitor production facility. They're using it as a forward base of operations to attack Hagar in space. It must be destroyed. Uh, Destroy the three enemy production bays. As long as the bays are functioning, they will be able to provide reinforcements to the enemy. Capital ship signature detected at the force projection fleet bay. Anti-armor weaponry recommended. The suppression fleet bay is producing anti-strike craft ships. The rapid response fleet produces large numbers of ships and will be using swarm tactics. Well, I got a lot of ships for uh, swarm uh, to combat against that. Complete. Actually, I wonder if they'll automatically heal as I take damage. I gotta watch these. Combat alert. Controller here. Go ahead. Hey, we don't really see us. Come on, get it. Interceptor production complete. Now, are they healing? Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. for Mark? All right. Go for carrier control. Yeah, we're doing our war games mode. It's more of like a, um, ow, hang on. Uh, he's not gonna make it in time. Um, it's kind of like a series of missions and how long can you survive? And it's a point system, and then it allows you to uh, start this with better and better, I guess, ships. We are talking about, like, what we wanted to do with, um... If I'm going to do, like, the campaign again in hard mode. Um... Or not. But we're going to do this, then we're going to test skirmish mode really quick. Also, at the beginning of stream, I covered the, um... I'll bring it up here really quick. I'll, I'll cover it again. 
Um, so we couldn't show this. We didn't show this on stream yesterday when we uh, opened it up, but this was the, uh, the Hagar mothership, and you can actually. It comes with a nice, like, you can actually see, like, the USB-C right here. Um, it can be in horizontal orientation or vertical uh, orientation, just like in game. And then uh, there's a button built in, literally in the side panel right here, you can't even make it out, that it, it'll basically play the hyperspace sound, and then the lights will turn off, and then you push it again, and it'll play hyperspace sound, and the lights will turn off. And then just like in game, the, um, the main production facility has like the door that comes off. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty good, including the like the three little ones. So this collector's edition is by far one of my favorites just because of how much it came with. I don't know if you watched the bot or not, but if not, then I'm showing you, I'm showing this again. So it came with three little minis, like, uh, this is the, uh, the destroyer it came with. A, I believe this is a suppression frigate. So, and they're really detailed too. And then, uh, oh yeah, you saw the bot? Okay, and then there's like the, uh, the bombers. I think those are the bombers. Those are the interceptors. I haven't actually looked at them in detail in game. Alright, let's... Get this moving. Do I gotta leave a fleet here? I hope not. Oh no, we captured it, so it doesn't look like they can capture it back. Alright. It's just an incursion point that they come from. Alright, on we move. Keep keep moving. That's what we need to do on this one. We've captured our ships. If we get an opportunity to capture more, we will. We are... 16 ships above our frigate production Systems limit. Alert. Frigate has heavy damage. Which one? Those are destroyers. Yeah, get out of there. Passive. Everybody on neutral or passive, please. Combat alert. We could try to do this one because it's closer, but I think because of the it's awkward down here, I want to take care of these ones first, and then I'll come down and take care of that one. It's gonna get harder and harder too as uh, the time goes on in this one. I remember this one from the uh, trial period. Stop this really quick so they can catch up. Alright, there we go. Now, will these turn and actually heal that?
This isn't like about the support frigates. You have them uh, priority heal all other frigates, including themselves, so they'll keep each other alive. I wish I'd made one more, but it is what it is. See if I can see any frigate stage here so I can tell this guy to go uh, capture it before the rest of the ships get there. Of course, I like with the collector's edition, it came with this, for this game mode, it came with the original um, Kushan carrier skin. Like, so this is like the Kushan carrier from Homeworld 1, which I thought was kind of cool that they allowed that. Frigates. Frigate is under attack. Destroyer attacking board two. Oh, here we go. Enemy combat. Or two defending. Okay, we can't capture destroyers, so we're in for a fight. We don't have any ion cannon frigates, so we're we're kind of not hitting as hard as we should. Wait, where are they going? Assault frigates. Multi beam frigates. Those are the ones that are going to be doing the most damage. We got this being captured. Yeah, so this is being captured. It's like a parasite on there. It's like Everybody focus on focus fire on one destroyer. Or two engaged enemy frigate. Alert. Or two engaged by destroyer.
try and use the mouse wheel to zoom in on your ships. That's what I am doing. I kind of like looking at them. Uh, it's a beautiful game. We got any more incursions coming in? Yes, we. No, it's a destroyers. Okay. They keep warping in, so we're going to need to move. This is just going to get worse and worse, so. Oh, you're trying to. I am trying to zoom in. Oh, you're trying to do it. <laughs> like as if you're playing. My bad. But yeah, we're going to lose. I took too long. This happened in the. Um... Oh, heck yeah. No, this ain't happening. <laughs> I kind of just procrastinated there and tried to take out the destroyers. That ain't happen. Yep. Really? No, that wasn't 13 minutes. That was 13 minutes for this mission. Okay. Hey, rank six. Oh, that's right. We do like the whole profile thing and whatnot. Railgun Corvette Vulcan pattern. Ooh, nice. See, RU's collected, 33,000. Yeah, I stopped and then I just like, I built units, but then I captured a bunch. Okay, that's at level 10. I do kind of like the remastered fleet, but it doesn't really come with anything special. Like this starts you off with two torpedo frigates, which is kind of nice. I think I'll stick with the Kushan carrier for the moment. Um, oh yeah, game settings. So we just did regular, that's standard difficulty. Larger enemy incursions, reduce available resources, less time between enemy incursions. Destroyed carriers do not respawn. Wait a minute. Since when do they respawn? I haven't fought any carriers and it's not my carrier that gets respawn time. Or unless I'm missing something with that. Oh, for multiplayer. Is this... Wait, okay. Oh, so... Wait a minute. So if you're playing with a friend and you have two carriers, does one respawn if one's alive? How does that work? I haven't played that yet. I haven't seen an artifact yet. I do kind of want to play a skirmish, though. I'll try one more of these, and then I'll probably do a skirmish. Leave it at standard difficulty. I think it's... In demo, it respawned in next level. Oh, okay. And, well, wait. If you lose it in a level, it's game over, though. <laughs> or unless, okay, if you're with a friend, then your buddies respawn, maybe? Uh, that makes sense. within this sector. Engage hostile forces and plot a route to their base of operations. Oh, wait, no, go down here. find and destroy this base. Right. Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. Attack these strike craft. Research complete. Clear copy. 
do four support breakers this time. Up your schedule for tomorrow. Thank you, staff. Incoming hyperspace signatures detected. Ready for attack. Corvette is off the board. That went right through. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Corvette destroyed. Yeah, control here. Upgrade complete. Alert. Yeah, resource bank depleted. I got that. Okay, stop making these. into position in order to escort the civilian vessels oh, i gotta escort this time interceptor production complete just want to get them in a good uh but yeah gotcha all right stop with the frigate production i need my resource controller please i kind of made that hasty Oh, wait, no, I do got a resource controller. My bad. Where's it at? Go ahead, son. Combat alert. Okay, it's up there for some reason. Receiving. Hell, we're on the attack. Check screen. Yeah, get that back there. We need to get assault frigates out. Uh, it is a choice not to select perks or just forget about it. Is it a choice to not select perks? I guess I forgot about them. Was there ones, uh, did I miss that at the beginning? Because I can, um... Did I miss that? Where was that at? Number two is blinking. You get to its start. At the start of the, the mission? Oh, right here. Shit. I forgot about these. Oh, uh, thank you. I forgot about these. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't care about those. Do we're, we're good. Assault frigate ready for action. Combat alert. I'll do that. And then.
Crap, so that, that last mission I was at, that I died at, I had none of the upgrades. We're gonna take a minute to get resources. This one actually is like a little bit tougher than that other one I played. Combat alert. Do torpedo frigate because I got the upgrade for it. I feel it kind of sucks with just the eight frigates. Um, I guess it kind of it has you like it forces you kind of to think about how you're gonna move forward. Some perks give you more cap for frigates. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot all about the... Uh, so, uh, just FYI, I am disabled for my memory because uh, uh, after I uh, fractured my back in the military, I also hit my head. So, there's like things from like months ago that I've just whoop, gone. Research complete. All right, give me that torpedo frigate. All right, looks like we're good here, I think. Just keep building up fleet. I wonder how you harvest a uh, salvage these though. Um, is there something that gives you a perk for that or am I missing how to do that? I swore I remember salvaging those in uh, the um, demo. Just move a fighter there. Ooh, okay. Really? You mean I've just been missing that this whole time? Is this like Eve? Nothing like Eve. I played Eve for like 13 years. Um, this, so, um, I mean, okay, if you if you want to look at it if for combat wise like Eve, okay, just imagine like you're just controlling a bunch of players and you're having a war. If that's the case, then that's kind of like Eve and they have missions. So you can look at it like that, but it's nowhere near like the same concept of Eve. Um, the, uh, so the Homeworld series um, is, it, it's RTS, it's space RTS. That's how it's been since it launched in 99. All right, let's move the carrier, get this up here. Uh, resource collectors, converge. Yeah. Send. Go for interceptor. Interceptor production complete. Send message. I'd like to capture some frigates if they uh, will show their faces on this map. 
combat alert. PV, PV, yeah, so, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, you can do both. Um, I will say, I can't write a review yet for the game, but I give the story a 10 out of 10. I, one sitting yesterday, I actually beat it. Um, it took me 11 hours. I've seen other people that's taken 10. One mission tripped me up because it actually punishes you for blitzing. I was actually blitzing most of the game. Um, but, um, no, definitely 10 out of 10. It's a beautiful game compared to uh, the other ones, especially. Especially the ice sheet, the map I was on uh, earlier. The civilian vessels are in place. Be on alert. Enemies will try to intercept. Okay, uh, can you follow those? There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Got to go capture that missile frigate. I think there's another one I just missed over there, too. The escort is flying. Receiving. Lead craft, be advised. Corvette on approach. Understood, clear. Confirm. Ice is crazy beautiful. Yeah, and the cracking sound is great too. Combat right. alert. Contact. Enemy frigate in weapon. We have contact. No, don't attack the frigate, damn it. Why aren't these doing Oh, probably because he stopped because he couldn't see it no more. I might miss that frigate. Oh, there's a couple of frigates. Um, my resource controllers, come on. They'll probably get there. To go back to protect that. Objective complete. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. that one we can get that one though controller is on the move yeah go get that one controller target eliminated bring it down carrier move up here yep i knew it he was gonna come right over the ledge and uh yoink bolster our fleet while we can. Ready to copy. Perks, thank you. Wish you can pause while you were doing this. Strikecraft support. 
Um, Multi beam frigate, give me that. Damn it, he's not gonna get that. Oh, wait, what? I think I used the wrong ship. No, I did I use the right ship, but too late. Actually, yeah, I like this. Let's um, go here, go down. We're going to sit right here underneath this ledge. It'll be, it'll be easier to maintain. Oh, you guys stop being aggressive. We noticed that problem yesterday. Please tell me, are you out of a, uh... oh, dang it. We also found out yesterday um, why I couldn't do the right click menu. You can't do it while paused. Do these rebuild their uh, ships? Is there any way to get them to rebuild their little uh, pods? Without having to scuttle them? Because you can't retire them. I noticed that because I can retire. Yeah, don't do nothing. Yeah, I like this little ledge. It gives us kind of an advantage point right now. Well, in the meantime, I'm probably going to scuttle this thing. Alright, where's the figure that don't have, or... Okay, he's got one. That's the one I just put there, I think. Is it this one? Yeah, he don't have anything, so... I hate doing that. Only problem is, is our ships are attacking too fast. Did we get that? Oh, we actually got that. Alright, I think I'm going to grab one or two more frigates and I'll call it good. Nope, that one doesn't have any either. I feel like it's a big ass waste. You know what? I could just leave the mission. They'll, pro they'll probably refresh those. That was my bad. I don't know if we'll make that. Did they get it? Alright, that's the frigates I want. I'm gonna wait for that to capture and then we'll leave. I'm not sure I'm liking Project L333T. Hmm.
I'm waiting for him to come back up. There's one. And there's two. Hyperspace signatures detected. Enemies inbound. Prepare for attack. Railgun corvette ready. Launching. Production boost. I forgot that it has an ability production boost. Oh my god, that decreases it so fast. Railgun Corvette production complete. Ready to come. Combat alert. Interceptor production complete. Go for Corvette. Mission critical salvage identified in the AO and marked. Where? Salvage, okay. We'll get there in a minute. You guys are harvesting, right? Yeah. No escalations yet. Oh, well, I'll send a fighter to get that. Send transmission. Combat alert. Confirm. Hostile 
Oh wait, I thought that was a box. Never mind. Break time. All right, guys. Um, Got to go on break for a bit. It'll probably be 15, well, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Um, So I will be back then. I'll see you soon.
All righty, I am back. Um, let's go ahead and get back into. this All right, where were we? Um Railgun Corvette production complete. Don't take your eyes off the scanners for a second. We don't need to be surprised. Corvette destroyed. Control attack alert. Enemy Corvette. Cease action. Move to safe area. Uh, no aggressive. Go neutral. We're trying to save ourselves some ships. Once these resources are collected, I'm going to continue with the mission on this one. Would knock it out. In the meantime, we'll... See if we can get more frigates. Holding. Await further instruction. Radar short rails for next target. Frigate, assume escort position. Corvette cop. Confirmed. Send message. Pushing it to SO. Lead. Please check figures and echo back. Person position. Ready. Security orbit. Combat alert. Much appreciated. We were gonna move out here. Uh build. We got a yeah, bigger facility okay Looks like all those resources are gotten. Combat alert. Taking escort position. That's so confirmed. Position set. All stations set for combat. All right, let's go and start moving. Combat alert. Really, carrier? Gotta do some weird movement here. Let's go this way.
What is that? Is that a destroyer? That is. Holy crap. Well, we're gonna have to take care of that. Do we have bombers? Oh wait, no, we could do a bomber fleet, but we, we didn't, I don't think. Two destroyers. Alright, yeah, let's uh Game really punishes you for uh, taking your time, or at least these uh, war games mode. Receiving. Another salvage point. There is. Where's the other uh, salvager at? I'm always bringing it in. Oh, we lost a controller. That's why. Destroyer, destroyer. We're gonna have to fight these. Interceptor production complete. Damn, those went down fast. Alright, everything. Focus fire on that. Objective complete. New enemies will continue to arrive until All right, we're going to leave here, though. To the next mission. For sure. A lot worse than the first time around. All right, is this that one where we're going to have, like, three different objectives? Oh, this is a new one to me. Capture the data spires to draw the enemy off course. Damn, we lost a support frigate. Railgun Corvette complete. Yeah, I read you. Move us in. Maintain active scan. Helm, flight course. Go for carrier control. We're just going to have to stay moving on this one. I'll have the controllers go harvest that. Ready to copy. We copy. Corvette copy. Get out of here. Charge rails. Move to engage.
All right, so far so good. Frigates, good. I want to capture those. Actually, you know what? Let's send these back. Carrier. Oh my god, there's a big contingency right there. Send these guys up first. See if we can get a, a jump on uh, eight. All right, um, we're going to, uh, wait, you guys don't worry about that. Let's go this way. Just keep moving. Get up here, get up here, move, 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 move. Stop. Defensive on this one. Navigation link established. CIC adjust. Systems go. Send. Interceptor production complete. Chance actually we can capture two more ships up here.
We'll send them up ahead first. Get over here, please. We have positive capture lock. These support frigates aren't gonna last because they keep not listening. Why do they stay back there? Oh, that's my lifeline. Yes, please. Did I miss it? Oh, I missed a data spire. Oh my god. that keep moving forward See if we can get these. Might be too late though. We should be able to get uh we get that one. We're getting that one. Interceptor production complete. Alright, we got that one. Keep capturing. Railgun Corvette production complete. Okay, which one's that? That one? I need you to, uh... Yeah, no. These things are slow. Keep moving, move fast, move fast. I lost it. Damn. How did we do so good the first time? And well, I guess it's the 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 missions themselves. Oh, uh, stop. We're probably gonna lose our harvesters now that I think about it. Just realized that I just screwed myself on the controllers too. Setting up for escort. Alert. Board two engaged. 
by frigate. Send message. Hostile frigate is on the board. They're firing. Frigate is critical. Systems failing. Break contact. Receiving. Ward 2 in position. Capture successful. Enemy Titan ship exiting hyperspace. Titan ship. Destroy the enemy Titan. Where is it? Oh my god. Is that thing with the fleet that I got? Defend the spires from the incoming hostiles to prevent enemy reinforcements. Controller complete and ready for operation. I mean, this is the third mission, so I guess it would, uh, Yeah, that's the end there. I don't see how... Well, maybe that is possible, but... Damn. Yeah, capturing the fleet in the first two missions, I feel like, is going to be key. Destroyers on it? Yeah, we're done. Yep, they're done. Boom. Maybe we should do. I'm probably gonna do the uh, skirmish mode now. XP for 2,000 enemies in war games, failing to upgrade, which says increased missile frigate hit points by 10%, enables self repair, passive self repair. Nice. So you keep getting rewarded the more you play, I guess. Well, obviously. So, reconnaissance. So, bomber fleet. I don't know if you can build bombers with that or not. Bomber fleet would be awesome. All right, well, let's look at um, skirmish because I'm not going to torture myself doing hard mode campaign right now. Definitely doing the ice shelf. Beautiful map. Um, we want Higar and Fleet. Yeah. Do I want to have everybody neutral? Yeah, everybody's a big well. Hmm. Yeah, everybody face everybody just to see how that goes. Uh, we'll have them on yeah standard difficulty right now. What is this? Slot. Hell's a slot. Team one. Oh, it's probably the map slots then. Okay. Uh, destroy mothership. Destroy all production. Let's give that a go.
in a minute. This is a done scar a skirmish game on a, a game something like this. Oh wow, there's resources everywhere. This is command. All right, you're moving there. up there. Relocate. Ready to come. Mobile controller is on the move. Adjust. Reposition. Actually, no, right here. Waypoint set. Build. All right, let's go ahead and start doing. Search order not missing prerequisite. What is a prerequisite? Okay, so we gotta do one at a time. Um, boy, they're sending probes everywhere real fast. Carcassonne set to aggressive. Run there. All right, Ziggy. Thank you. Well, let's definitely get a uh research complete. Oh yeah, get me uh, more resource collectors, please. Research complete. Play around if you request with my boys. All right. Interceptors, go and get those going. Get some real guns research. And ready for operation. Actually, fleet bombers would be good for strike. Strike craft. Oh, well, we start with probes. Research controller complete and ready for operation. Probe is away. Probe launching. Probe is away. Probe launching. Probe is away. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Probe launching. Probe is away. Resource controller complete and Boy, they're already. We're just gonna sit here and defend. Group one designated. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Collectors are active. Much appreciated. Can we not do uh Group one reinforced. Salt frigate. Definitely need a frigate early. Out of funds. I like how there's like a million probes on my side of the map. All right, there we go. Go ahead and do, yeah, definitely have to upgrade bombers. I want the cloaking. Actually, I think I do like this shelf right here. I think I'm going to move Arkushan right here because things have to come over this shelf to get to me. So that might actually work in my benefit. Upgrade complete. Gun Corvette ready. Launching. Need to lay down and relax a bit. All right. Yeah, t please do. Get some rest, please. All 
All right, starting to get a little recon con contingents. All right, frigate, we're going to want support frigate immediately. If you get crazy raid, let me know. Yeah, I'll scream. No, oh, I won't. I'll, uh, well, yeah, something like that. Carrier, let's go and get carrier research because getting forward operating carriers would be good. Assault or get ready for action. Group two designated. Group three assigned. Group one reinforced. Good read. Relax. Understood. Clear. Confirmed. Executing. Copy that. Assault or get ready for action. Flight is on station. Bomber lead standing by. Research complete. Go and cloak my bombers. That voice, the actress, though. Oh, uh, yeah, for Imogen, yeah, that's, it's really good. I've always liked the Fleet Command. This is bomber lead. Move complete. Okay, support frigates, get a couple of those support out. Frigate ready for action. I'm going to get a... Torpedo frigate. Anti-strike have turrets. Turrets actually might be powerful here because, well, yeah, because we're, it's going to be like long-term map stuff. And considering how many opponents there are, I'm definitely going to need them. We're getting enough resources now. Upgrade frigates. I keep forgetting to use their abilities. Group five assigned. Resource controller complete and ready for operation. Then again, Costa engine maneuverability. I kind of don't like that. Upgrade complete. Research complete. Ready. Vector. Research complete. I think I'm going to go have them guard those because those are kind of like out in the open. Research complete. Set transmission. Support actually, you know what? Let's see if I can actually bomb a surprise bomb them. Field one carrier. Upgrade carrier production boost research. trouble of course group one caution resource controller is under fire one come back yeah those resource controllers are kind of screwed upgrade complete support frigate is now ready okay that's good Stop. This is command. Don't know how I told that to move. I don't remember telling it to move. New position. There. Ready. Max power. Do not engage any locks. Okay, you three. Ten. Group seven designated. Ready. Group seven reinforced. Production complete. 
Torpedo frigate deploying. Carrier. Let's move our carrier out. Listen to assault frigate there. Um, upgrade, capture research. Oh heck yeah. Uh, heavy turret torpedo research. Let's get some strike craft turrets built. Stop. Upgrade complete. I'm here. I work with ID on all contacts. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. Send transmission. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate research complete. I just realized I'm building that out of channel O sensor contact enemy frigate anti strike Local turret operators to exercise caution hostile frigate on the board right ID there positive. we're gonna throw those right there sensor destroyer contact. research enemy frigate check yeah. screens hostile frigate on screen stand by engagement orders Resource controller taking damage. Sensor alert. Ooh, torpedo frigates? Frigate. Yeah. ID confirmed. Sensor contact, enemy frigate. Local operators to exercise caution. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. Sensor contact, enemy frigate. Check screens. Keep it steady, for Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate. ID confirmed. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Local operators to exercise caution. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. Hey. No, don't move. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Check screens. Actually, be. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement. Orders. Let's get some Sensor things alert. built at Hostile this. Frigate. ID confirmed. Group three is in trouble. Receiving. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Local operators to exercise caution. Turret production complete. Oh no, they're already capturing it. Okay. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Check screens. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. Get that support frigate. Go capture that. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate. ID confirmed. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Local operators to exercise caution. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. There's going to be a lot of audio going on. Group 3 needs support. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. That's it. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate. ID confirmed. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Local operator research complete. Caution. Resource controller has been engaged. Hostile frigate on the board. Turret production complete. We're going to support frigate. We are. Nice. Need to repair this. Carrier. Actually, go ahead and um, alert. 
Strike craft taking losses. Back out. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Check screens. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. Target destroyed. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate. ID confirmed. Support frigate. Please take care of the carrier before Sensor it gets overrun. Resource controller hole integrity at 75%. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Local operators to exercise caution. Command, carrier holding position on mark. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Check screens. Okay. Hostile frigate on screen. Always been a minute since I played a skirmish game like orders. this. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate. Understood. Turret maneuvering to position. Group 3 is in trouble. Security orbit. Target set. Lead, please. Sensor contact. Actually, we're going to have you down here. Local operators to exercise caution. A resource control. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. Are you playing against another person? No, these are AI. Command channel open. No, stop. Keep forgetting. I don't want to control you. Turret production complete. Carrier reach. Go. Group three needs support. Control here. Bomber production complete. I'm just, uh, well, three other AI. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Check screens. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate. ID confirmed. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Local operators to exercise caution. Target hit. Interceptor production comes. Caution. Resource controller has been engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attention. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. I want to stay underneath this shelf. Okay, build destroyers, please. Cattle cruiser research. Let's get some heavy torpedo frigate uh, platforms made. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Check screens. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. Operations. Sensor alert. Group three lost. Oh, bombers finally lost. <laughs> All the harvesters right here. Carriers fighting each other. Wait, can we capture a carrier? No, we can't. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. We can try to get these uh enemy frigate. Check screens. Suppression frigates. Let's see if we can um controller hole in upgrade complete. Hostile frigate on screen. Stand by engagement orders. Sensor alert. Hostile frigate. ID could resource controller complete and ready for operation. Okay, that one's taken off. I think we got that one, and we got that one. And this one's going down here to the carrier. Caution. Resource controller hull integrity at 75%. Oh, hi, carrier. Um, Priority alert. We are losing strike craft. Sensor contact. Enemy frigate. Local operators to exercise caution. Uh, let's get these... Uh, controller taking damage. Let's get these stations so we can actually get extra turrets here. Because this is like a kill zone, kill box for me right here. Transmission. 
Yeah, we're king under the shelf right here. You know, I like that. Um, all of you, go ahead and come guard this. This is command. New heading. Move us out. Research complete. Destroyer. Go Let's go and get the destroyer over here. Channel open. Carrier. Let's go ahead and get heavy turrets made. Receiving. Ooh, let's capture the uh, turret. I can't capture that. Another carrier. Well, that's about to. Right. Go capture that. Hostile frigate on the board. ID positive. What else can we capture? See if we can capture that. That's no, probably too late. Nope, they're not going to get that. Yeah, we're like king under the shelf right here. We're good. Research complete. Carrier, did you get? Oh, they're right there. I think. No, they're not. Yeah, build those, please. Do we have any here? Yes. We're going to use this shelf to protect us big time. Where's the rest of my... Resources right here. Um, resource collector. Come collect. There's salvage for us. It's like all the resources in the map are like mined out now. Now it's a matter of like attrition. Attention. We're going right here. ID on enemy carrier. Just tell us where to park, Commander. Where's our? Are we not building plat? Oh no, we have maximum platforms. Okay, there's a limit. Ready to copy. I see it. Tracking bearing, setting up for intercept. Controller on location. Operations. Target down. Redirect. Can we not move in there? Sensor contact. Hostile carrier spotted. Or is it because we're waiting for salvage to be dropped in? Group one reinforced. Group three designated. I guess you can't get the mothership under there? Or you can, okay. Just being weird. Alright, so what's going on upstairs?
I think uh, everything's all quiet now. You know, then if that's the case, I kind of like 1v1 because uh, if it's a matter of attrition, because right now I just like, I I probably won the the game. I'm just going to come on out right now and uh, we'll send all our harvesters out just in case we do run into stuff. Go over there. Gunnery, bring all batteries on target. All support crews to ready position. Channel open, stand by. Where are you going? Waypoint set. Move to location. Gunner, maintain active scan. New position there. Let's get some battle cruisers made while we're at it. Carrier can hold its own underneath the shelf there. But there's like a the, the kill box with all the turrets is perfect. You just sit here and then it, it's just a a massive kill zone. Upgrade uh, complete. Um these guys can go ahead and uh unprotect that. Yeah, there's nothing protecting it. So, other than its own defenses, but. I feel like that's a flaw in this, this kind of mode. I feel like, if anything, you should have like a permanent set of resources that are like near impossible to, to exhaust. Because if not, then obviously just do what I do and just sit there and wait it out. Now I'm just going to come in and raffle stomp this guy. There we go. I do love the... Uh, um, the movable turrets. Those are so good. I that was a good addition. Ah, oh, battle cruiser. Whereas, what I have is a mini battle cruiser. I keep looking at my thing on my desk. I, I can't figure out what ship it is. It's either that or it's a destroyer. I think actually might be a destroyer. Battle cruiser has build capabilities, fire control, rally point. Wait, does it? Thought it did. What's okay? Must be um. I don't know what that is for then. I gotta find another ones. Another ship, just move that way. Let's go ahead and send out. Uh, Battle 
Cruiser construction complete. See if we can rat them out. Where are they at? I mean, I could use probably probes, but I'll do a couple probes then. Oh wait, not on a carrier. Probe production complete. All production ships need to be destroyed. There we go. Operations. Probe ready. Actually, you know what? Just full attack. Command channel open. Mothership, you get over there when you get over there. Engaging thrusters. Rotation underway. Rotational thrusters to 80%. Watch my lane. Yeah, I like the function of the where it can rotate. We stop. Leave the default on your formation. Channel open. Battle cruiser construction complete. Another battle cruiser. These things are badass. I like the way these look. Yeah, I feel like that's a flaw in the um, skirmish mode for AI at least. Then again, it's even the same if you were to play with other players. Can you tell who's actually still up? Shells. That's a nice touch. I didn't ever notice they did that. Oh, it's moving. It says no, no. Okay, there's the other one. There it goes, it's dead. Cycle and maintain lock. Good 
Attention. Target in range. Well, that was incredibly easy. <laughs> Then again, because at the end here, I was like ready to buckle down and wait for like the waves to come and then see if I can capture until I had enough people to, to fight the rest, but no. Oh, tell me there's a carrier waiting around somewhere. All right, where's the probes? Oh, okay. Yay. We collected the most. We didn't build the most by far. Wow, this player, like, killed a bunch. Or AI player. We just kept it simple. Okay, there's that. Um, I want to do that. Actually, I've been getting a lot of uh, achievements. I have... I'm missing three achievements right now. Complete the campaign in hard. Yeah, that's the final one. Successfully complete a war games mission. That's going to be... 0 0.1 players have that achievement. And then the other one, I don't know what the last one is. All right, let's go ahead and do war games. Because these are quick, quick and dirty. I want to do remastered fleet. I don't know if you can actually build bombers though, with uh, or if it's just that's just the, the term for the fleet. Uh, we'll do this one again. Interceptor. Forces incoming. They are pushing further into friendly space. Higar in command suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Engage hostile forces and plot a route to their base of operations. We must find and destroy this base. Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. complete resource controller complete and ready for operation light it up set transmission carrier comms open set railgun corvette complete complete where do you want us lead um assault frigates for sure incoming hyperspace oh. signatures detected ready for attack increase carrier damage by 50 percent i kind of like that resource controller complete and ready for operation
canceled or get ready for action. Interceptor production complete. Torpedo frigate. Let's get three uh, support frigates going. I think my upgrade actually just lowered my reduces strike craft corvette frigate pop by uh, complete. Wow, only three totals. I regret doing that one now. I didn't read it all the way. It's funny that no matter how good technology gets, local radio still sounds like garbage. Yeah. Yeah, controller here. Combat alert. A civilian convoy has been attacked and scattered to Well, I can only have like three frigates. It's rescue all civilian vessels. It's kind of horrible. All right, I'll leave my fighters there. Research complete. Support frigate is now ready. One support frigate to assault, huh? Use carrier damage by 50%. Hit points by 50% and speed by 33%. It's still, a carrier is actually really fast now. Then again, it's going to leave everything else in the dust, probably. Uh, you go down and get that. Claim artifact. Um Corvette is off the board. Command, carrier holding position on mark. Enemy Corvette engaging target. Good drop. Corvette destroyed. Sensor contact. Enemy Corvette closing in. Position marked. Come about stands active. We'll rescue that. Those are still good. Receiving. Combat alert. Oh, we gotta go behind this thing. Hmm. Another artifact right there. Where's the last point? Rescue. These are key actually for building. Freeze recon damage, increase assault frigate rate of fire. Yeah, give me that. They got self repair now. Increase carrier hit points, build. Uh, A 
Objective complete. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Um, I think we're just going to go straight for the next mission. I do want to collect those really quick. So if we get into like a really Combat bad alert. spot, I think I'm going to just go ahead and be back. The more resources, the better. Under attack. Enemy strike What's the call? Yeah, I don't like the fact that I only have one support for it. Well, I, I kind of get myself not reading. Ships I can only build, that kind of sucks. Definitely going to be a very light fleet. Railgun Corvette production complete. Okay, so that's good. All right, next mission. Got to keep an eye out for artifacts. Those are going to be key here. Let's build probes, actually. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, what I might do is. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Hyperspace signatures detected. Enemies inbound. Prepare for attack. Okay, threat escalation 107, enemy forces on the move. I gotta remember to actually like look at everything. Next 
expedition was lost in this sector. Salvage. Mission critical salvage identified in the AO and marked. Actually, no, we uh, follow the carrier. Setting up for escort. Nav link is open. All right, carrier, we're going to do. Yeah. Combat alert. Contact strike crash. Ordnance marked. Reposition. There we go. Target react fleet. Corvette damage nearing crisp. Moving away. Let's see what's out there. Engaging strike. Yeah, we'll get this done as soon as possible. Another salvage right there. We'll get that. Combat alert. Ready to copy. Ready to copy. Railgun Corvette complete. Uh, salvage. I don't know what happened there. Oh, we lost a resource controller. Crap. Receiving. Escalation four seven. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this. Okay, well, carrier is going to be like my my powerhouse here. Oh my god, this is a destroyer, really? Already? Come on. Where's my um, support frigate? Okay, move to there. got to be like super mobile now got to stay on the move i can't i can't harvest or anything Destroyer will have a hard time keeping up with this. As long as we get this salvaged uh, in a timely manner.
Objective complete. New enemies will continue Yay. to arrive until um, you decide to move on to the next mission. Reporting critical damage. Oh. So far, so good. What's the learning curve uh, on this? Um. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's just like any other RTS. Um, I guess really it's... Uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it for people who are not familiar with the Homeworld series. Um, so, if you do the campaign, uh, the tutorial teaches you everything, but if you do the campaign, um, it kind of introduces you to how much time is against you. Uh, it always feels like that in the game. And... Um, it's not hard, but it's definitely different from other RTSs where it's just like, for example, this one I like because during the campaign, the, uh, give me a sec, the, um, uh, there was one mission that tripped me up because I blitzed most of the game and, uh, that was a mission that actually punished you for blitzing. So it's just like the, the game kind of adapts a little bit in some way. This one, ah, oh, it's this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this one with the crew I got. Send transmission. Incarnate forces massing at Visker right, go down there. Facility. We'll go down there first. The base of to build, we can build frigate space. skin, so. It must be destroyed. Torpedo frigates, please, and. Destroy the three enemy production bays. As long as the bays are functioning. They will be able to provide reinforcements to the enemy. Definitely organization's key, too. Numbers of ships and will be using swarm tactics. The suppression fleet bay is producing anti-strike craft ships. High explosive ordnance detected from the long-range fleet bay. Production complete. Yeah, I'm not going to have time deploying. for... Uh... I need combat frigates, so torpedo it is. Y'all don't need to shout me out. Oh no, it's it's we try to shout out anybody who streams that uh is a content creator. Set transmission. And of course this part of the game is the war games mode, so it's kinda like uh it, this is a race against time, basically. So, like, you, the game will start to escalate against you the longer you take. And this one's cool compared to the other homeworlds because you can use obstacles. Like, there's a lot of, like, 3D space to work with. It's not just open space. See, they're already warping people in. Hurry up and capture it. Awaiting orders. Enemy coordinates. All right, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and get your ass up here. Did I mean to click that? Yeah, move up, face out.
All right, go capture that. Enemy force will move. Come on. I guess with the upgrade, the carrier is actually doing pretty fast on good on speed. Escalation three of seven. Yep. And I will try to use resource controllers to capture any frigates I see. Okay, we captured him. Copy. Combat alert. Go for carrier control. All right, carrier, can you turn around? Attack frigate, that's good. Uh, you go capture that. Us. There we go, yep. Oh. Keep capturing. Did we capture that ship or did it get destroyed? five of seven it's gonna get really bad here real quick this is just starting with the first one if you plan to get into the series oh if someone hasn't ever played the series would you suggest getting into it now so sorry I, did, I missed your comment till now um they did a remastered version of the home world from 99 um here's my thoughts on that because it's remastered home world one and two uh one, I like the improved graphics, but two, they made a difficulty, um, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, it's like a sliding difficulty modifier. So for example, there's an infamous scene 
right and not infamous there's there is a, a recognized scene in mission three not gonna not gonna spoil what it is but um usually you get into the mission it does its thing with like a cinematic and all that and then something attacks uh and it's only like it was like three of them in the original game now it scales the enemy ships based off of how many you have in your fleet so in that mission it starts and before cinematics could even start the ships are already attacking and there's like eight of them or ten of them and uh it was like it, it was near impossible so there's a mod that removes that uh or makes it kind of more like vanilla and uh yeah it has like a difficulty slider there you go yeah um but it, it like kind of it decided on its own that's the other thing i hate i didn't like about that is it was mainly for that mission i didn't have any issues with any other missions um what i do recommend is is in fact when i get done with this if you want to understand the story i this came with a um uh it'll catch you up on the story so let's see what we can get here and uh then you can decide for yourself i do like the prequel game that came out uh before this one uh, Deserts of Karak, which is the prequel to the whole story. Uh, really, really fun story on a desert planet. Um, it's RTS, but on ground, not in space like this. The Dune-like one? Yeah. Okay, so they already got destroyers, so yeah, we're out of there. Keep those distracted. Send message. Send. Receiving. Send. Yeah, technically, um, Deserts of Karak yeah, is first in the line of story. Like, if you're wanting to follow it for the story, I love games like this for the story. These kind of modes, uh, they're fun at first for me, but then they quickly diminish because it's not like, um, not like you build up and you live with something and you earn it. Like you have a giant fleet you work with. I guess it's like a mini version of like, you know, you build up what you got and then try to hurry up and, and win. But, um, the replayability on it, it's there, but it's not kind of my cup of tea. I mean, they made it to where it's just like there's a ranking system and whatnot, so I guess that's encouraging. Like, yeah, like Battle Royale, kind of, yeah. Okay, I don't know what to expect in this one. We're probably going to be fighting really hard on this one, but if we can knock this out, then I think we'll be good. Actually, what I should have done is at the beginning of this mission, split my fleet into three and then send them to all three at the same time and hope that uh, we could overwhelm the... We didn't have enough ships, though, for this one. Go capture that. Where's my other resource collector? It must be... I left it back there by accident. the destroyers get to us.
Oh, crap's warping in. Kill those things. Block these things from contesting. Crap. I don't think we're going to win this one now. We're too slow. And the destroyers are in. Yeah, because it's 7 to 7 escalation. Yeah, damn it. I'd like to beat this one. Trapping about four hours, going five and a half. Um. So give me a few minutes. Yeah, we're out of fleet. Everything's destroyed. Yeah. Hey, what's all that? Yeah, all the destroyers converging. I was really close. I was really close to beating that one. I just couldn't stop these ships when they, they spawned in. If I could have stopped them or like had them follow another uh, something else, then uh, we might have been able to, to deal with that. But yeah, F. It's the third mission's usually pretty tough. I think this would have been a final one, and uh, it's like beating the war games thing, but. But yeah, this more and more keeps warping in. At this point, it's near impossible. So it's just like if you let it get to seven to seven, it's yeah, you're done. Yeah, the war games is kind of interesting. Hey, level up. Classification preparation artifact allowing it to appear in future selections. Torpedo frigates receive five percent less damage, increase frigate pop by cap by one. Okay. Some simple. Total runtime was not fourteen minutes. For this mission it was, I think, but. Yeah, and then you can modify the war game settings like larger enemy incursions, like if it's not hard enough for you. You can play with a friend on this, apparently. Um, the ranking thing allows you to unlock, I guess, different fleets or whatnot. Remastered fleet came with this version of this collector's edition. Um, yeah, it's just something simple, and they plan to add a lot more. Um, let's go ahead and leave this. So, with the roadmap, um, I'll have access to all of this. I'll re I mean, I already got the, the collector's edition, so it gives me all of this when it eventually releases. But, uh, the DLC, so yeah, new faction starting fleets, faction artifacts and challenges. Faction emblem, new playable faction. Both of these are new playable faction. All three of them actually. It's just a rinse and repeat. They're probably doing some kind of content with that, and then free content drop. So one thing I do like about this is in the extra section they have the history of Homeworld, and for people who don't know about it, I'm gonna go ahead and play this so you can see. It's like a four minute video, so it's actually kind of cool. It it catches you up on the whole story. So let's do that. The barren desert planet, Karak. Home to a resilient but divided people known as the Kushan. They fought over resources under a burning sun for thousands of years. 
Everything changed when Rachel Sajet discovered something buried deep beneath the unforgiving sands. An ancient technology that would allow the Kushan to escape their dying world. A hyperspace core. And with it, a map that pointed the way to the true home of the Kushan, Igara. The Kushan put aside their differences and for 100 years worked together to construct a grand mothership that could transport 600,000 Kushan to Higara. Karen Sajet, Rachel's descendant, volunteered to be bound, body and mind, to the mothership and become its navigator and fleet command. But the efforts of the Kushan did not go unnoticed. The Daidan Empire, a powerful enemy who had exiled the Kushan to Karak 4,000 years ago, took swift and devastating action. While Karak burned, Karen rescued all that remained of her people. But instead of fleeing into the dark, Karen turned the mothership into the tip of a spear, a spear aimed directly at Higara. In the war that ensued thereafter, Karen's fleet emerged victorious. The Taidan Empire was shattered, and the Kushan reclaimed their homeworld, becoming Higarans once more. Just as Rachel discovered a hyperspace core, Karen learned of the existence of two others. The first of these was gifted to Karen by the Bentusi, an ancient race who called no planet home and lived only among the stars. The final core was won by Karen upon defeating the Vagir, a vicious foe who sought to control the cores at any cost. Karen united all three cores aboard the legendary progenitor mothership Sajuk. And in doing so, unlocked a vast hyperspace gate network, enabling interstellar travel for all. Trade and culture spread effortlessly between the stars. Population centers grew in places previously inaccessible, and the galaxy was united in peace. Thus began the Age of Sujet. But deep in the outer rim, lurked a region of space from which no ship ever returned. It became known as the Anomaly. Gates in this area were erratic and dangerous. Thousands of lives were lost. Eventually, these gates went completely dark, and the Anomaly spread. Karen Sajet, aboard a new mothership called the Kar Sajuk, was sent to find the source of the Anomaly and stop it. She never returned. Twenty years later, the burden falls to Karen's protege, Imogen Sajet. So yeah, that's a... Uh, if you didn't want to play the previous games, that's pretty much all that content that they described was playable content. You experienced that. Um, it's just, it was all in a nutshell, basically. And uh, the whole story was amazing. When it came out in 99, which was the, not the desert part, because that was way later with the prequel, but when they, the Homeworld won, I think it was very captivating back in 99. Playing with class, classic graphics, though, it, it, looking at it now, I can't remember it looking as bad, but apparently it looks horrible. But um, you get the gist of how it looks, but it's a fun game. Um, remastered's alright, but you might have to deal with the mod to, uh, get through one of the levels. Um, but, outside of that, it's, it's fine. Actually, it was recommended, don't build a, t a giant fleet or capture a bunch of crap before level 3. Otherwise, you can deal with it. Um, but, um, that, that was the, re that was the remedy for that for a lot of people instead of downloading a mod. Uh... But so far, this one 
was is really good. The story, we did it yesterday, so the VOD is up on YouTube, I think, by now. I think it is. Um, but for me, it took about 10, 11 hours. I think for most people who aren't familiar with the homeworld type of games, it'll be like 15, 20 to beat the game. But uh, it's its story was top tier uh, with the... Um, with the storytelling in this one, it was way different from the previous games because the previous games did more like storyboard art, like what you were just watching, but it was all in black and white. That was the first one I did in color. And then in this one, in between missions, it was like live, not live, but it was like um, almost CGI-like with the actors, uh, the acting, the action that was going. It was literally watching a movie. Part one is up, part two is going up on Sunday. All right, cool. Thank you, Steph. But um, it literally, it was watching a movie the entire time. So um, I do want to go back and uh, play it in hard mode because I didn't see this little corner right here uh, when I went to get play yesterday. So I was like, damn it, I would have tortured myself at first. But um, so far, my thoughts on the campaign, 10 out of 10 for storytelling and how things are played out uh, we just experienced when I think when you join the skirmish mode the weak point on that is is for example I just did a myself versus three AI when resources ran out the AI just kind of just when they had no more content ships they just sat there so it was like that needs to be fixed um, the the war games mode is the most interesting thing I think uh, just because of the yeah, it's like roguelike. Yeah, it's literally... Yeah, I guess that's how you can describe it. It is a roguelike. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. Um, I was really looking forward to it. My biggest thing is is I really appreciate the uh, uh, the physical goods that came in. The, uh, the mothership right here in the background came with the kit, and that was really cool. I love it. Uh especially now that I got it hooked up and it's like lit up and whatnot. It was actually really cool to get that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and for today, who the heck messaged me? I'll just somebody rooting me on. Okay. Um, I think for today I'll go ahead and wrap up early because uh, I went really long yesterday and my sleep was kind of jacked up because of that. So we will be playing this again tomorrow and Monday. Tuesday, I'm not sure if we'll continue on Tuesday or if we'll do a different game, but we'll, we're definitely going to be continuous. I think I'm going to do the campaign. I think tomorrow I'm going to start the campaign hard mode. Same time, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, PST. I'm going to go through it again and... I don't know how torturous it is, but I can't imagine it being that bad because I'm very familiar with Homeworld, how the uh, mechanics are, how to operate, and how you can work around things. <laughs> Salvaging is king. So, all right, guys. I appreciate everybody hanging out today. I appreciate the follows. I appreciate the people who might be uh, lurking around. Definitely check out our YouTube. It's been posted in chat there. For our YouTube people who might be watching this later, uh, definitely stop in sometime. Uh, I'd love chat chatting with everybody live, just like um, people are here now, like Dolt, uh, Ziggy, uh, Steph, Rithius. I, I I missed anybody else that actually chatted. I apologize, but yeah, uh, definitely stop in. I really appreciate the people coming in, my regulars especially. <laughs> Do it. Um, so with that though, um, oh no. Not Dolt. Oh, wait. Did I sell that wrong? Oh. It's Do It. I forgot he told... They told me that before already. I apologize, Do It. Um, I keep looking. Hey, Dolt. Uh, I'm assuming you get that a lot because I, I, that can't be just me. <laughs> so, but with that goes, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. I will see you all in the next stream. Uh, take care and stay safe. And uh, if you decide to get this, uh, 
it's a fun game. I really appreciate the devs for working on this one. So, all right, guys, I'm out.